Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brad with Despite Fitness, and I'm standing on the fucking on the beach in San Diego, looking at the ocean. And as you can tell, sun setting, not too bad, right? It's crazy to think, just a few months, I'm gonna be on the other side of that shit, hanging out in Korea. Anyway, we want to come make another video, talk a little bit about the Korean U.S. Open. And uh, before I get going on this, I want to I want to make it really clear and uh, and say something out for, uh, out front that this is in no way, shape, or form um, a blast of anyone in particular. Um, and I certainly don't mean to badmouth or, or talk down to anybody. So please don't misconstrue any of my comments as blasting anybody or anything like that, but rather an opportunity uh, to have some kind of conversation and dialogue that uh, will make a good meet even better, I think, right? And so kind of what I'm talking about is what happened over at, uh, at, at the US Open this past weekend. Um, you know, there was a number of things that, that, that transpired that I think uh, there's an opportunity to improve. Uh, the first of which is um, some of the calls with uh, the judging. So, you know, I'll show some some clips here of kind of what was going on. And what ended up happening was, uh, it became almost comical in the in the uh, the live stream comments about what was going on with that left judge, right? Uh, was hitting the, the red light on lifts, even though the other side judge was passing lifts. And in fact, at uh, at points in time, the the judge that was opposite of the of that left judge was Steve Dennison himself. And you know, I think that it's good to have a nice, uh, uh, strict, tough standard and make sure that you're adhering to that standard when talking about squat depth. Um, but I think that when something presents itself to be as obvious um, as an incongruence between those two judges, as it was uh, for the US Open on Sunday, um, I think that's an opportunity for some retraining. So not to call any uh, any judges out by name or anything like that, or you know, try to put anyone specifically on blast. I think, I think it's an opportunity for some retraining because when you have uh, you know that obvious of an incongruence with the judging, um, it really I think it detracts from the the confidence that lifters are going to have in your judging, right? And and that in and of itself can be something that would uh, demotivate lifters from participating in your meet. So I see that as a critical uh, opportunity for some retraining and an opportunity to fix that. So that's that's point one. Point two is. Uh, taking a look at some of the uh, the squats that were going on, um, what would appear to be kind of a shaky a shaky platform, and indeed some of the some of the comments that were coming out again, not to call any lifters out by name or anything like that, but there's been some some posts and some comments that have surfaced on social media and whatnot talking about how shaky that platform was, um, and now I certainly understand the the need and the desire to have a platform, uh, you know, it makes for a better viewing uh, experience. For people that come and watch the meet, but uh, you know, if you have that platform, you got to make sure that it's secure. And you got guys like JP Price essentially moonwalking a thousand pounds to try to, to try to squat. Like that's not safe.
it comes down it comes down to safety for the lifters and again that in and of itself will be an element that lifters would decide no nah, i don't i don't want to play in that meet right because the, the conditions aren't good they don't have a stable platform or the last two years running or whatever you know there's been issues with the platform i see that as an opportunity for something to fix so you know meet director uh event planner you know all the people that are kind of behind the back scenes for setting up a venue and making sure that it's a successful meet i see it as their responsibility to ensure that something like that is improved on because really it comes down it really just comes down to lift your safety i mean would you walk a thousand pounds out on a shaky platform and, and try to squat it i mean you might for 40 grand right but it's just not safe and i think i think again it, it detracts from the meat when you got guys that are more worried about their safety and being able to actually just walk the weight out versus you know sink it to standard and and come up with a successful lift it detracts from the meat and it, it, it adds an additional element into the lifters that i don't think need to be there now in all fairness everybody was playing by the same rules so it wasn't like anyone had an advantage over the other in that regard so it was fair across the board and that's all well and good but like i said it really just comes down to lifter safety and for that reason alone i think that the platform situation needs to be addressed with uh, us open i don't know how you fix that um but my recommendation would be to have it on a on a, on a flat stable platform you look at um uh, rob Phillips on the deadlifts you know there was something going on with the platform he knew that there was inconsistencies in, in the in the platform and wanted to have the weight you know move so that he could try to have a successful deadlift so uh the lifters knew what was going on i think that that's an opportunity to fix that so that's issue two and then the the third issue that i see with the current us open is the the use of the the new kabuki bars now i am a huge fan of kabuki so please don't misconstrue this either i, I love kabuki i have uh a, you know a bit of their equipment and i'm a big fan of most everything that those guys do um but i think that it was probably a bad idea to move to the new uh new gen kabuki bars for the meet you know it was it was pretty obvious some guys were getting cut up even during the squats um you know they had to clean the bar uh, clean off blood from from the bar and then, and then specifically for the deadlift, right? There was a lot of guys that had issues, uh, you know, holding onto the bar. Now, um, I don't necessarily usually see that in other meets, not not to the same extent. So a lot of guys were saying, hey, they're having issues holding the bar, you know, that it was cutting up their hands or whatever else. Um, I think that it's good to have, uh, you know, the new bars, and, and I think it's a great opportunity for Kabuki, and why wouldn't they want to have their bars at that new meet? But then also, like, the thing is, it's not equipment that most people have readily available to train on. So just by that factor alone, I think it'd be probably bit, be better to wait a few years or whatever until Kabuki's had an opportunity to put more bars into the market where more people have the opportunity to be able to train on that bar versus, you know, ponying up the $700 or whatever it is for the squat bar and you know, or whatever the cost actually is, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, but instead of having lifters pony up that money themselves just so they can train on their competition bar, that's not realistic. So I, I think that it, it puts a, it puts an odd element into the meat when you have equipment that most people aren't gonna be used to. And I, I think there's something to be said for, you know, having lifters have the opportunity to, uh, to practice on the competition equipment. And I, I think, like I said, with uh, the newness of the bars, it's just, it's just prohibitive. I don't think that there's enough people that have access to it. So that's the third element that I would like to see improved on the, uh, on the US Open. And then, you know, uh, I want to kind of close this out by talking about a couple of things that I do like. Um, there, was a few, there was a few things that I, I did like about the, uh, about the meet. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that I point that out. US Open, they put on a great meet. And, uh, you know, I want to say that the... Uh, those guys, you know, uh, Steve Dennison, everyone behind that, they put on a great meet. And, and I loved watching it as a lifter. I think that the, a meet of that caliber is, uh, is, is great for the sport, and I love to see that. So I'm super grateful for the, that the meet took place. So again, I don't want to make it sound like, you know, my, my items for improvement are just blasting uh, U.S. Open or anything like that or the people behind it, uh, but rather I just see this as opportunities for improvement. Um, then the live stream. So I want to thank the guys behind that uh, for you know for pro providing the live stream because it was a huge opportunity for for fans of the sport to observe the sport at 
the highest level, right? To see some of the best athletes in the world doing what they do. And to have that live stream available was awesome. One thing of improvement on the live stream, I'd like to see the, the light system available actually on the live stream so you can tell, um, you know, what uh, what's going on with the judging versus, you know, trying to see through all the bodies that are there between the, uh, the spotters, the loaders, and then the entourages and camera guys and whatever else. Uh, that was a little bit difficult to try to, you know, assess what was going on with me and how lifters were doing. So those are a couple of things uh, that I want to see improved and I think would benefit the U.S. Open and would benefit the lifters. And when the lifters are safe and they're uh, feeling confident with the meet, you know, they're going to be able to go out there and do their best and put on a good show, which is what everybody wants to see. So anyway, I guess that's it, guys. I, I hope you liked the video. Um, I should... I should get some more stuff coming this week while I'm out here. There's a few guys I want to try to link up with. I put in the calls, I put out the messages. So I'm just waiting on a couple callbacks and I'd like to link up with a few guys and do some do some videos, do some lifting, do some training. But it's uh, just depending on whether or not they call me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but aside from that guys, yeah, I appreciate you checking out the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you know, leave it down below. Um, uh, I love I love having you know conversations. So let me know what you guys thought about the U.S. Open. Let me, let me know what you guys think about my points of improvement. If you agree with me, uh, give that a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't, let me know in the comments box what you don't agree with or what you think could be improved to make that that meet a more successful meet. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, train despite. Remember, fucking, you either find an excuse or you find a fucking way.